we're off again. Tries a through ball. And a header! It's in! And with that goal comes comfort! Just so calm under pressure. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Sunderland are two up and into a position of real strength. Gets up to head it! He will be livid with himself. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Fight the big Massive leap! He's a clever pass. Well positioned to make that interception. So he's got himself a goal, and now he gets himself out of Asian on the way off. Look, he can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard, and I think the manager has probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in, and, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, he's doing the right thing. Looks like a good ball through. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. And it's been taken straight as a pop! And somehow he managed to miss it. And he could have eased the pressure on his team by taking them within one of an equaliser. So, the manager making the last of his changes. Going through. Oh, good interception. Looks to slip it through. <laughs> Sunderland, look as though they're about to make a change. Well, his stamina was called into question now, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. It's got in! He's put through his own net! Oh, it's an unusual turn of events, and it was an honest attempt to help out, and I, I suppose it can happen to anyone. Sunderland, some help from Lady Luck there, they all count. Steered out wide. This official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. And that will be the final act. Sunderland, winners of a no contest. They just swamped their opponents in superior quality. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? I thought it lived up to its billing, Peter. Very competitive, open and entertaining. And a little debating room as to whether the outcome was fair.
Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. the whistle plays it out to the flank what an adventurous run from a defender decent looking ball and he's shown him a clean pair of heels Agbon Lahore battles to win it back looks to slip it through he's left his man and it's Yedlin for goal he scored even some of the opposing fans are clapping that you just have to appreciate it you know Peter from the moment it left his foot it looked unstoppable that was thumped Sunderland take the lead 1-0 still a fragile lead though they can't afford to sit on this Sunderland are on a great run. Five wins in a row. Passes it through. Oviedo gets it back. Kone passes it forward. Yedlin. Taylor cuts it out. Sunderland are in control here on the brink of half-time. And he's there to cut it out. Terry positions himself well and cuts it out Whelan crosses it in goalkeeper's ball and the first half is done so there you have it a close sport half of football but one that still had its moments but ultimately produced just one goal a more than decent game up to now well they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half time and that's definitely pleased the fans I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Sunderland head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. So we're already into the second period. Sunderland carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Massive leap! He scored! And there's the goal they've been looking for. An absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. There's some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Sunderland take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. To Guzman! Good first touch and almost as good a second. Jonathan de Guzman brilliantly took control of that, which was exactly what the situation required. Oh, he really wanted that. Yeah, and you can hear how the crowd are reacting to this, too. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield, too. Looks like a good ball through. Goes for goal! Oh, surely that deserved better. Oh, the weight on the ball was just perfect then. If only they could have come up with a finish to match. Just brushed off the ball there. Tries to get it forward quickly. Aimed long and direct. Played out to the right. He's got away. And the cutback. Whelan. And the shot! Sticks it away! And what a climax we have here! A pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? Ah, Peter, that was just a, a defensive act of generosity that was always going to uh, have a painful ending. Yeah. 
changes here from both sides in fact well his stamina was called into question then but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in he was very willing though not quite able we have got ourselves a game here and he's cut it out referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle Sunderland winners by the odd goal it really could have gone either way but a win is a win any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Yeah, they had a game plan which was about hammering away in central positions, and it paid off. For me, they were persistent and ruthless. you <laughs> Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here. Just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. And our live game is Reading against Sunderland. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Begley.
Thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. And that gets things running. Sunderland have taken 15 points from the last 15 available. McGeady looks to dink one in. Reading seek a performance here which reflects rather better on the boss. He's taken a fair amount of criticism. Big chance! And he's there to make a great save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. He's got away. Steered out wide. And he's there to cut it out. And it's a Nietzsche He's had a shot! Goal! First blood drawn. Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Peter, I can tell you, that was nothing short of a cold-blooded execution. Sunderland take the lead, 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Played out to the wing. Coming up to half-time, leading, and they're going for goal! Jonathan de Guzman. Forward it goes. Looks to slip it through. Has a hit! Oviedo. Tries a header! Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. And the first half is done. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Sunderland come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. Already up and running for the second half. Sunderland going well here and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretch. Can he finish? He's missed, but not by that far. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Sunderland picked up all three points from their previous game. The win, however narrow, really important. Tries to get it forward quickly. Reading are definitely going. He's through it. Has a pop. They've scored. And there's the goal they've been looking for. That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footage, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Sunderland have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, oh, is it in? Big relief. It just needed better contact. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Reading making another change here. Come back to the keeper. Keeper goes long. Oh, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Oh, the ball's come loose! Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Yedlin, and the weighted pass. Sunderland, get it back again. Hits one! Oh, great save, real class. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. 
it so nearly came off for him. Yeah, he's been at the centre of a lot of things, hasn't he? Uh, mostly good, I should add. And here's a change that was in the offing. Last one allowed. Well, the stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely... Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Decent win via a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side, and the result reflects as much. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And here we have Barnsley against Sunderland. This is Peter Drury, and next to me providing insights will be Jim Begley. Hi, Peter. Always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now.
the whistle, and here we go. So what's he planning here? Sunderland have taken 15... Diving header! Brave effort, total commitment. Well, he can't be accused of not being brave, Peter, and his boss will give him the thumbs up, I'm sure. Sometimes that's exactly the requirement to give you the early edge. Now for more. Big chance. He's had a shot. They've scored. Well, that always looked the likely outcome. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Sunderland for first blood here. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. That's offside. Yes, it is. Well, he now knows that he has to lock in the timing. Success and failure depends on it. Cuts it out. Tries to stroke it through. Magidi with a delicate ball. Let's put a stop to that. He goes long. That's put paid to a promising move. Wilson. Britain clips one through. Well, that's where he wants it. That's a brilliant interception. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. Up to meet it! We've reached half-time. So there you have it, a close fourth half of football. But one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. How do you look back on the first 45 minutes? At least Peter, not conceding another goal, has kept them in this game, and they can up their response in this second half. Sunderland head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. That gets things going for the second half. Sunderland carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Jonathan de Guzman. And Nietzsche B. Spreads it wide. And Nietzsche B. How about it? Sunderland are still that goal to the good. Looks to dink one in. Has he found his man? And it's Yedlin. Goes long. And through to the goalkeeper. And Nietzsche just wouldn't be beaten there. on the back foot looking to shoot and he's there to make a great save well as Tesco Peter the keeper has just received an A-plus grade Jonathan de Guzman spreads it towards the left this is good ball retention and it should be enough from here but they want to double their advantage <laughs> Dick's one in Throw in. Swung in towards the middle. Sunderland certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. It is just the question of running down the clock now. To Guzman. McGeady. Chip through. And that's it. 
Sunderland win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. Well, that was a hard-fought win with a defensive masterclass. They backed up their goal with a, a resilience that was first class. So that's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and good afternoon all.